Okay, Facebook, how many more times are we going to have to play this game? there long time no see in terms of recording on YouTube uh, probably because I'm better at uh, expressing myself through written form as opposed to verbal I don't really make videos of myself that often um, that's because I usually communicate on Facebook which up until a week ago um, I had access to but for some reason um, I do not have access to my main Facebook account and I have absolutely no idea why. Um, as a person who is kind of outspoken about social issues, um, I try to kind of bridge conversation with people about these serious topics because so much um, in our world revolves around these social issues. And um, oftentimes I get people who don't appreciate the things I have to say. Um, I've had a history of people reporting my account um, as if um, I'm an impersonator or who have an issue, who had an issue with the pseudonym I was using. So I, I have a history of being uh, <clears throat> reported and suspended on Facebook. So it was strange to me that um, when I lost access to my account, I wasn't, I didn't receive an email. Um, I didn't receive a screenshot showing whatever I did to violate policy or offend someone. I just lost access to my account. And the thing about that is um, a couple of weeks ago, Facebook had like a huge network issue. Like no one was able to utilize the site. And it was a whole big thing. Everyone freaks out every time Facebook goes down. And I noticed after that was resolved, I was having these blips where I would get signed out of my account and it would very quickly ask me to verify it, which I've already done and had to do because as I mentioned, I've been spam target reported before and I've had to identify myself. They have, I've provided them a photo ID um, and with my name and my information, whatever, nothing government because I'm not going to provide them my government documentation because you're a fucking social network. I provided them a school ID with a photo attached and that is just as valid because you're not a government establishment and um, all you need to know is that's my name and I wouldn't be able to attend a school or a college um, if that information was not correct. Anyway, so um, that would happen very quickly. Um, it would blip, sign me out, ask me to verify my account. And before I could really even do anything, it would bypass that and let me back onto my uh, account. I thought that was weird. It happened at least six times. Um, so that was something that I took note of. And about like six, seven days ago, uh, while I was minding my own business, like we playing a video game, I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, so I didn't even realize I was signed out of my account. I get a text message. From my friend who's pretty much like, hey, is something wrong? I'm like, no, why? What's, what's going on? And he's just like, well, I can't find your Facebook. I, I can't message you. It's like, you're gone. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And I just assumed that it was doing that thing again, which I don't know whether it's a technical thing, like an automated technical thing, or someone was actively reporting my account and trying to get me suspended again. 
Either way, I got no notification, no email. I just was unable to access my account. So um, I even remember when I was told this, I remember saying, what? I didn't do anything because usually I have some sort of idea when I piss someone off with something that I've said or posted. Um, they usually have something to say and I'll be recorded or whatever and I'll get the email. But yeah, that morning or that afternoon, I literally couldn't recall anything I had posted or said to anyone that would really take anyone off. So that was confusing. I it was an, I made a note that uh, I, I, I was like, I didn't, I actually didn't do anything to like roll anyone up today. So um, yeah, so I thought that was weird. Um, so obviously when I was unable to gain access to my account, I messaged them. It's just like, your account is disabled. If you think this is an accident or a mistake, um, click this link and fill out the form. It's pretty much just a form that asks you for your name and a ID identification to, I guess, establish your identity, which I've done before and which I did again. But strangely enough, uh, no response. I've had issues with Facebook, um, pretty much just ignoring my messages and appeals um, in the past, but eventually like someone would respond. But strange, it's this is strange. Like I had one person respond, her name was Effie, E-F-F-I-E, and she essentially just said that I reached the wrong department because when this stuff happens, I try to get in touch with them um, in any means that I can because they make it like almost impossible for an outsider of the company to contact them unless in any means that they don't um, agree with. So um, I filled that out and she pretty much said I reached the wrong department to reach out to the appeals portal, whatever the hell they call it. And I did, and I responded to her that I had been messaging them, that they had been ignoring my my appeals and my verifications, and um, just had nothing to say to me for some reason, even though I still, to this day, have no idea why the hell my account has been disabled, which is um, why I also have been contacting them on pretty much any um, medium they have a presence on like Twitter, Instagram, whatever they have an official Facebook account for like I guess customer relations I guess relations whenever they feel like engaging with people but yeah so I contacted them on Twitter and I, I started noticing that this was happening to other people as well people who have had long-standing accounts 7, 10, 12 years whatever people who have been on the 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 site for over a decade suddenly have no access to their account and no explanation and no acknowledgement and we've all been trying to contact Facebook openly privately and we've just been ignored and that's why I'm making this video because it's pretty fucked up I've even um it's to the point where I have kind of tagged um sort of tech publications or people commenting on the whole Facebook password scandal where they for some reason <laughs> saved millions of people's passwords in plain text they're reporting on that and they're reporting on the fact that one of trump's aides got censored for some reason he probably said something ignorant since he's related to trump but that's something completely different either way he got censored they made us think about that and they shared that story because that's significant because that's someone related to trump but people you know just the common people who are just randomly having their accounts disabled for absolutely no explanation um, we have no real recourse. So I'm making this video because I've messaged you, I've texted you, I've tagged you, I've re I've reshared accounts of other people having this happen. If this was a technical issue, I would assume that Facebook would have something to say about it, that they would um, acknowledge that it's a technical issue and that they're working on it and that we have nothing to worry about. But we, the people that are affected by this, have amassed years like me over a decade of memories of um friendships of photos of posts like over a decade's worth of these things i just suddenly have no access to which i find incredibly manipulative and cruel and and, and just weird like how it's like you're pretty much holding our social network hostage along with our memories some of them irreplaceable and stuck um on your servers like I even went through the process of trying to download my information and I got the message that it was um, compiling all my stuff 
all my things so that I could download them, but I never got a message about that. Usually there's like an email with a link where you can download your files. I didn't receive anything. I haven't been receiving anything. And this is just really weird. I, I just, I would like some sort of accountability. That's why I'm making this video because maybe if I put a face to this, someone's icy little heart will melt and they'll stop being cruel and unusual to people for no reason. I didn't do anything wrong. And the things that I have been reported on in the past, like, like maybe like a nipple related to an artistic post or saying something about society that people don't like the way I, I put it. Like, sometimes I don't sugarcoat things and that really riles people up, but that's not a reason to disable someone's account that has been on your social media or your social network for over a decade. I have friends that pretty much were only on Facebook just to engage with me and to see my posts and to go back and forth. And, you know, I've come across people that I've gotten really close to and who I have no access to at this point. And people may say, well, I mean, if you don't have access to them, if you've known them for so long, why don't you have other forms of accessing them? And I guess technically I can get in touch with some of them and I do get in touch with some of them. But for a lot of people, like there were a lot of people I got to know through Facebook for over a decade. So yeah, I'm gonna get to know a lot of people. For a lot of them, we mainly engaged on Facebook. That was where we met, that is where we have always engaged and there was really no reason to kind of disengage. I mean, Facebook these days is giving us more and more reasons to disengage with their platform. But that is the reason we have never really branched out outside of Facebook. Because Facebook, like, while they're giving people more and more reasons to not trust them, they're also, like, becoming this all-encompassing force. You can't even go onto, like, a store's website without them being like, visit our Facebook page, da 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 Everything is being connected, interwoven with Facebook. So it's not unreasonable for people to not be um, in a hurry to disengage because it's... There are even like videos about, about it. Like it is not difficult to just disengage with Facebook because they become the largest social media platform in the world, I believe at this point. If not at this point, they were at one point. And yeah, I just, I just find this situation really frustrating because uh, as I mentioned before, this is not my first song and dance with being restricted from Facebook and the frustrating process of trying to resolve an issue when someone is just ignoring you. There is a one-way communication. It's not a two-way process. They want to act like it is, but it's not. I even took like <laughs> screenshots of their community operations. Like, um, I think it was a hiring page. It pretty much describes um, what the purpose of of that whole department is and how helpful they want to be and how they want to help connect people and keep things civil and da, da 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 and it's so flowery and I took screenshots of it because it just cracks me up at this point because it's not just me it's seemingly random people um just having their accounts disabled with no accountability no response like what is going on what is going on Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg, I keep saying Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, Cheryl Sanders, not Sanders, I forget her last name, Sandberg, I think it was. Yeah, what, what's going on guys? Like, you guys just keep getting busted in all this shady stuff, but what is with this selective targeting of people? Like, yes, I'm outspoken. Yes, I have some strong opinions about society. That's not a reason to censor me. <laughs> like, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is censorship. Like I will get in a fucking, excuse my language, I will get in a debate or an argument with people that I am diametrically morally opposed to, but I would never censor them. Like that's not how you deal with situations. That's not how you deal with um, <laughs> disagreements. You don't censor people. Like it's just wild to me. Like why? <laughs> I still just keep circling in my head, like, what the hell did I do? Even if I had some sort of exclamation, that would be something, but nothing. It's just been radio silence to me and others, and we would like some answers. So, yeah, if this has happened to you, definitely reach out to me. My email address is uniquelyevil at hotmail.com. U-N-I-Q-U-E-L-Y-E-V-I-L at hotmail.com. Yeah, that's right, hotmail. Represent. I'm never going to stop using hotmail. <laughs> as long as I can use hotmail as a domain, I will. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just frustrating because, like, I don't know. I have so much to say. I have so much to share. And I have so much to see. And you guys are just 
what are you doing? Like, what's, what's going on? Anyway, yeah. I think I pretty much summed up everything. Let me, what do I do with my phone? Hmm. Oh. I hope my butt wasn't sticking out there. My pants keep falling down. <laughs> Cause I'm losing weight and yeah. But um, just making sure I touched on everything that I meant to touch on. Cause there was a lot of little, just subtle bullshit that, that's that's going on. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, why is there seemingly no real accountability for your your freaking um, community operations team? The, the team that is responsible for keeping things civil and orderly on your platform. Why do you expect us to just fill out a form and just hope that we eventually get um, acknowledgement? You're a huge company, you have the resources to hire an entire team of people to assist with these issues. So why, what is with this, like, is anyone, does anyone like have any accountability? Is there any overhead to these situations? There's no way for us to escalate a situation. I have been messaging you guys for over a week in multiple, multiple areas and I've heard, heard nothing, absolutely nothing. And it's just like the circumstances of the situation are just really messed up to me. I think they're really cruel. I think you guys are kind of bad people. I'm starting to think you're really bad people um, with the way you handle these situations, along with the other things that have been going on with you. Just the, the shady manipulation of people's information and the things you try to hide and... Wow. Okay, I have a Security Plus certification. I know, along with many other people who don't have a certification, like, how are you a business on the internet, primarily on the internet, that deals with people's private information? How are you a business that stored millions of people's passwords in plain text? Like, that is just like, no one has done that since the 90s, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure some people have done that, but like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might cut this out because... It's not very relevant to this topic, but um, I'm just amazed. Like, how are you so big? You have the resources and the money to hire like the best people to set up security systems and, and password authentication and, and so forth. Yet, I, I, I'm sorry, like my mind's just blown by this. Like, it just, it's just unreal to me. It's unreal. I think I have said everything I meant to touch on about the situation with me personally and Facebook shady dealings. <sighs> yeah. I just, I have some, some sentences here about how significant some of the connections that I made through your platform were and still are. The fact that, um, you know, as a person who's felt very misunderstood for, for a significant majority of her life. Um, I found a voice and other people found a voice within this platform. We were able to converge and make our own communities. We all got it. We've all had so many similar situations that we've all gone through. There have been, there are support groups that I'm part of. There are pages that I run. There are friends, you know, that we support each other individually. We just, when you cut us off like that, like, we're, what's the recourse? We have no recourse to the situation. And that really needs to change because this has been an issue for years. I've dealt with this. I've been suspended for years. And I've felt the frustration of having my entire social media presence just silenced. And this time, it's for absolutely no reason. Like before, I can kind of understand certain things that may have offended people. But giving people no reason, it's just cruel, cruel and unusual, cruel and unusual. And if you're watching this and like you really don't care because it's not affecting you, like when will you care? Because it could easily happen to you. It could easily happen to the people that you appreciate and love and interact with on a daily basis. 
can happen just like that. No explanation. They have the power to just shut your voice off, shut your your influence and your <laughs> your online social life off in all its interwoven ways. That's why they're so powerful. So yeah. Do you give a shit? Will you give a shit when it happens to you? Because I'm seeing it happen to many people who are just as confused as I am. So yeah, when when will anyone give a shit about this stuff? Because it's been going on for a while and it, it's getting worse because I've dealt with something similar before, but this it's never been quite this shady. And I don't know if it's because they know how I am and that I will come to them, like trying to figure out what's going on or if there's like been a change in management where they've changed like process where, oh yeah, just shut them off and don't give them an explanation. They don't, they don't deserve it. Like anything. I think I've even tried to email uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Cheryl Sandberg directly. I don't know if they still have those email addresses, but I certainly wasn't given a bounce back email. I haven't heard anything back. Nothing. I know where I work when customers or consumers are upset and it's been escalated to the CEO. Someone's ass is on fire. Like shit gets done. Shit gets handled. So, so what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Before I go, I'd just like to uh, shout out Ooblets. Ooblets. Oh my goodness. It's an upcoming indie game uh, developed by pretty much two people. They have uh, friends and people that they've hired freelancers to assist them with certain parts of the game, but pretty much the team is run by two people. Um, I'm not sure if they're husband and wife or girlfriend and boyfriend. I forget, but this game looks amazing. It's like a mix of Pokemon, Animal Crossing, as well as Harvest Moon. And you just collect these cute little creatures and you battle them, but not in the old school, like Pokemon, like animal fighting way. It's dance battles, which I find awesome. Like it, I think it began with this whole sort of like pocket monster bottle battle uh, nature, but they thought that was kind of cruel and wanted to put their own spin on things. So yeah, that's gonna be really interesting to see how that works. And there's also like elements of gardening and um, like, a house you can build your house up you like starts off as like a, a dusty old shack that you have to kind of make into your home and there's like a whole community of people and you have to do favors for them and it just looks so cute the art is adorable the the, the coloring just look, looking at it is just like an antidepressant so um i recommend checking it out look at least looking at a trailer or anything because i think it's gonna be big like they're putting a lot of love into this project and I even support them on Patreon because I was just, I fell so in love with uh, their, their vision and um, hopefully it's released this year. It was supposed to be released last year, but they improved so much and like put in so many new ideas that they kind of have to keep pushing things back a little, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be released at some point this year and it just looks so cute. I recommend looking into it. Don't know why I'm telling you about this, probably because I'm wearing this shirt and I figured, hey, why not? Look, this, they're so cute. Look at them. Look, goopy long legs, shrumbo. Oh my God. They're so cute. Gloopy long legs. Rad lad. Oh, definitely check them out. All right. I think that is everything. I, I keep trying to delay the video because I'm afraid I'm missing something. I've tried to film this like at least three times. Like last night I had a guest over. They came over in the middle of it, so... I think that's pretty much it. We'd like some accountability. We'd like to know why we're suddenly being censored from pretty much everyone we know on Facebook as well as all the communities and pages we're associated with. That would be great to know why that's suddenly being cut off. All right, I think that's it. See ya. Again, if you would like to contact me, uniquelyevil at gmail or hotmail.com. Um, I'm trying to get through to as many people as this is happening to because no one seems to be thinking it's it's important enough and I'm, I mean a lot of crazy shit's going on so I can kind of understand that but this is a thing that's happening to people um there's no accountability for it and someone needs to speak up people are speaking out about it I'm going to uh probably post a screenshot or some video attached that to this of uh, one individual who um I think she's been experiencing this a little longer than myself 
and she's been kind of corralling everyone else this is going on with on Twitter and just retweeting their experiences and I have also been doing the same thing so yeah I'm gonna shout out to her uh, let me see if I can pull up her name really quick I'm gonna add like a screenshot of her page at some point anyway but where are you I think she has like a Spanish sort of name uh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't make videos very often and I'm not good at uh, preparing, preparing, preparing for certain things. <sighs> what was your name? Okay, so yeah, her Twitter name is Dreashy, D-R-E-E-A-S-H-Y, Dreashy Pop Andrea Florentina. And um, yeah, 18 days ago, she's been dealing with this. Wow, when was this fun? Ooh, it's longer than 18 days at this point. Yeah, she's been doing, dealing, dealing with this shit for longer than I have. And if you visit her page, you'll see tons of people that she's also um, bringing a voice to because it looks like she has, she doesn't even have that many followers. She has 53 followers and she's still doing this. So good on you, good on you. Hopefully this video can assist in some way. I'm, I don't know how much it will, um, but at least it puts a face to the situation. You know, that's the least I can do because <laughs> I would like my account back and um, I would like other people that this is happening to for no reason to also have their account back. Or I'd like us all to have some sort of explanation because this is ridiculous. You need to have some sort of responsibility for these things. Like, yeah, you can do this to people, but why? Why are you doing this? You want to put on this face that you're about connectivity and positivity and, and socializing, but what is this? <laughs> what is this? All right. Again, excuse the face. I'm done. Get in touch with me if you would like um, to speak about this or to share your experiences on this as well. See ya. team are essentially responsible for making sure that all the people on Facebook have a really great experience and that if they don't they have a really great support experience. The best thing about working in community operations is that we're really in a prime position to help people by preempting and resolving whatever issues that they might have. I help the Japanese users with their issues. It's all about keeping them happy and satisfied. We have so many nationalities and such a broad range of cultures. It's actually quite a diverse and fun team. The Facebook culture here is very open and friendly. Um, from the first day you join to even now, like everyone's always happy to answer your questions and discuss things with you. The scale at which we operate, which is kind of in a lot of senses has never been done before. We're bringing the world closer, making it more open and connected. I couldn't be more excited and in a better place in my career rather than at Facebook. I think every day Facebook is absolutely exciting because you don't know what's going to happen. So every day is different. 
So it's not a place where someone's going to prescribe you every day that well, here's the work you need to do for today. Instead, we try to kind of empower people um, to find those opportunities themselves and then give them the tools and the support they need to have an impact and to, to make things happen. People encourage you to challenge the status quo and to think creatively and critically. Moving to Facebook has been such an exhilarating experience. Uh, in just the last eight months, I've made friends from all over the world. Your colleagues become your friends. The people that you work with are also the people that you hang out with. You can do anything here. You can break things, you can hack things. You want to work with an engineer being in community operations, you can do so. So you want to build something, you can absolutely do so. Without community operations, there would be no Facebook. And I genuinely believe that Facebook makes the world better by making it more open and connected. And that's why I love working within community operations. Really now? Something don't add up. Something don't add up. <laughs>